in the realm of human existence, worry is a potent poison, seeping into the depths of our consciousness, entangling our thoughts, and imprisoning our spirits. It's a poison that slowly creeps into our minds, seeping into our thoughts and actions until it becomes a part of us. It is a stealthy adversary, cunningly disguising itself as a protector, a guardian of our well-being. Yet beneath its deceptive veil lies a force that erodes our joy, stifles our potential, and ensnares us in the shackles of anxiety. Worry is the embodiment of fear projected into the future, an insidious phantom that preys upon our uncertainties and vulnerabilities. It whispers relentless doubts, crafting intricate landscapes of disaster and despair, clouding our vision and distorting our perception of reality. With each fretful thought, we unwittingly bestow upon worry a precious gift, our attention. We feed this voracious beast, allowing it to grow stronger, its tendrils entwining our minds and draining our vitality. We become caught in an endless cycle, fixated on the worst-case scenarios that may never come to pass. We cover ourselves with the veil of anxiety and die of worry, but we never stop to think why we should not worry at all. Worrying is like carrying around a backpack full of rocks. You think that by worrying, you are somehow preparing yourself for the worst-case scenario. But in reality, you are just weighing yourself down making it harder to move forward. It's like trying to drive a car while looking in the rearview mirror. You might see where you have been, but you won't be able to see where you are going. You will miss out on the opportunities and possibilities that lie ahead. Worry is useless. What should the being who is beyond form and time worry about? Even if we try to prevent the inevitable, it will happen. According to Siddharameshwar Maharaj, the one whose mind is depressed is never free of anxiety. The antidote to worry lies not in the external realm, but within the very essence of our being. It is a shift in perception, a reclamation of our innate power, that holds the key to liberation. In the moments when we recognize that worry is but a self-imposed prison, we awaken to the truth that we are the architects of our own realities. We possess the ability to choose our focus, to direct our attention towards that which empowers us, uplifts us, and nourishes our souls. When we give our attention to a thought or belief, we not only feed it, but become entwined with its energy. We connect with it, and it becomes a part of us. This is why complaining or worrying about something only serves to reinforce its presence in our lives. If we desire to banish something from our lives, then we must cease giving it our attention. When we withdraw our energy, that which we do not want will wither and fade away. It is a peculiar paradox of life that the things we do not want seem to persist in our reality, while the things we desire often elude us. This is because we have been conditioned to focus on the negative, to give our attention to what we fear or despise. Everything is energy, and our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs are all vibrations that create our reality. When we worry, we are sending out a signal of fear and anxiety, which attracts more of the same into our lives. We are literally creating the very thing we are worried about. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Think about it like this. Imagine you are a radio station broadcasting your signal out into the world. When you worry, you are tuning into a frequency of fear and transmitting that signal out into the quantum field. And just like a radio, you will attract back to you whatever matches that frequency. Worrying is a form of resistance. We are resisting what we don't want to happen. But in doing so, we are actually giving it more power and energy. Instead, we must learn to surrender and trust in the universe. Trust that everything is happening for our highest good, even if we can't see it at the moment. Trust that we are supported and guided by a loving universe that wants us to thrive. And trust that we have the power within us to create the reality we desire. 
Worrying is like trying to control the weather. You can't change the rain, the wind, or the sun. All you can do is prepare yourself for whatever might come and enjoy the beauty of each season. Worrying is just a misuse of our imagination. A way of creating an illusion of a future that we do not want. It prevents us from obtaining knowledge and impedes our progress. Only when we let go of worry, can we fulfill our wishes and desires. Whatever we want to do, we must do it without anxiety. We should have confidence and certainty that only what is destined to happen, will happen. We should not worry in vain but have true care and concern. When worry creeps into our minds without any real cause, it distorts our perception of reality. Our senses and bodily functions become confused, leading to unhappiness. We constantly fret about the future, wondering what will happen and how it will unfold. This sad tale of worry about the future is all too common. The future does not need to cause us anxiety, for it is the present moment that truly matters. By focusing on the present, we can find peace and contentment in our lives. The future is uncertain and the past is gone. Worrying about what might happen in the future only robs us of the joy and beauty of the present moment. It is like being so preoccupied with reaching the destination that we forget to enjoy the journey. There is a subtle and delicate blessing that permeates the universe and flows through every living being. It is the energy of creation, the force that shapes the cosmos and gives rise to all forms of life. This energy is always present, always available to those who seek it. But it can be difficult to access when our minds are clouded by worry and anxiety. When we worry, we create a barrier between ourselves and this divine energy. Our thoughts become heavy and dense, and we lose touch with the subtle vibrations of the universe. We may feel isolated, cut off from the flow of life, and unsure of our place in the world. But when we let go of worry and embrace faith and trust, we open ourselves up to the infinite possibilities of the universe. We allow ourselves to be guided by the divine to flow with the currents of creation and to receive the blessings that are meant for us. From the moment we are born, we cry out and this crying continues until our final breath. But why do we cry? Why do we worry? If we remain true to ourselves and have confidence in our abilities, we can achieve our goals without worrying. Worry is like a dark cloud that blocks the sunshine of our potential and obstructs our ability to acquire knowledge and spiritual wisdom. It creates a negative energy that draws negative outcomes towards us. As spiritual beings, we are constantly creating our reality through the energy we emit. Our energy vibrations attract outcomes, whether positive or negative, so it's important to emit positive energy to attract positive results. Therefore, it's crucial to pursue our goals without any worry or fear. We must have faith in the universe and trust that what is meant to happen will happen. Worry is the great poison of precaution. Don't let it consume you. Instead, embrace the present moment and live your life to the fullest. You are a powerful being of light and your energy has the ability to uplift and inspire those around you.